Today's technology evolves with almost incomprehensible speed. Ever new, ever exciting, with endlessly fascinating stories to explore. Thus the birth of overexposure. The Chicago Loop owes its name initially to the parade of streetcars heading into and winding around the once primary downtown area. Charles Tyson Yerkes, a true powerhouse in Chicago's transit systems, imposed his plan of building the elevated tracks in the Loop. The idea met with widespread opposition from many pessimistic merchants. While so much of the toddling town spread far beyond this vital area, how unique that this world-class city has such an iconic part of its geography name for just a little piece of its rapid transit systems route. Spreading out from the central hub of the city, much like a spider's web, the CTA trains service the city and beyond, above ground, on the ground, and underground. Every weekday, over 640,000 riders conveniently move about Chicagoland on eight different train routes. The second longest transit system in the U.S. and the busiest, second in both instances only to New York. It's easy to take it all for granted. For its complexity, it works so smoothly. How does it work? Why does it work? With so few problems, and who makes it work? Well, we're about to find out. And just to say it's fascinating is an understatement. I'm Marcy Akbar-Tinian, and we're here today in the heart of the CTA Control Center. And we are about to find out what it takes to keep Chicagoans on the move. I'm here with Gus Lostenau of the CTA Communications Control Center. Gus, how are you today? I'm good, thank you. Gus, we are here in the heart of the CTA. The Control Center collects a lot of data from the field, whether it's bus operators, rail operators, employees from 5, 6, 7, anything that happens comes to the Control Center. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, this is running and somebody's here overseeing the operations and the trains that people, trains and buses that people take. Correct. How has technology affected the day-to-day -day CTA transit system? Tremendously. Nowadays you can visit our website at transitchicago.com and you can download multiple apps to your phone, your iPad, and we have things such as Train Tracker, which lets you know when a train is arriving at your station. So you could be at Clinton and Lake, look at your train tracker, and it'll tell you which green line is coming next, which pink line, in both directions. We allow customers to subscribe if they want to receive emails regarding unplanned service disruptions. If you don't have a smartphone and you just have the good old flip phone, you could just send a text to a number and then and that number is displayed on bus stop signs and then you'll get a response telling you for the next bus. How do you handle large events? Fourth of July, Taste of Chicago, yeah. things of that sort. The marathon that we also have later this year. That uh, Usually we get departments together and we have big meetings and discuss what is needed, you know, the manpower issues, and then every department discusses what they're going to do. We obviously staff more than enough people to prepare extra people, extra CA controllers, extra bus controllers, extra rail controllers, managers. We are in direct connect with CPD, CFD, the OEMC. The CTA also uh, assigns someone to go to the EOC to be our liaison, our direct contact. So we're we over prepare at times, but it's better to over prepare than not be prepared. I'm here with Araceli de la Cruz, the Chief Safety and Security Officer of the CTA. Araceli, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you for having me. Tell me a little bit about what you do. Sure. Um, as the Chief Safety and Security Officer for CTA, I oversee our safety and security departments on a daily basis. What does that consist of? Well, on the uh, security side, um, I have security professionals who uh, coordinate with the Chicago Police Department, so CTA does not have 
We do not have our own transit security providers, um, so we are dependent upon the Chicago Police Department to uh, safeguard our system. And so we coordinate on a daily basis with the Chicago Police Department, and um, we have a number of cameras throughout our system. We have over 3,600 cameras, and we feed a lot of that information to the police department to aid them in their investigations. So on the security side, that's the bulk of what we do. So how safe would you say riding the trains or buses on a day-to-day -day base? Oh, I would say it's tremendously safe. You have to look, you can think of us as a small community of 1.6 million riders a day on average. And so um, there are incidents that happen, but when you look at the number of incidents compared to the number of riders on a daily basis, it's really a small proportion of, of, of individuals who have unfortunate circumstances. How is it that with technology progressing every day, how are you guys evolving and keeping the safety of the riders within? Sure, it's a constant evolution. So uh, we have over 3,600 cameras throughout our system, mostly on our platforms and in our stations, but we're not stopping there. Um, we have new uh, rail cars that have come on board, the 5000 series rail cars. So in the end, all of our rail cars throughout our entire rail fleet will have cameras on each car. Tell me about the future and how you see the CTA system progressing. Uh, I think that we've shown a lot of um, growth in terms of technology externally, where we have uh, cameras throughout our system. We have a lot of customer-facing technology that's useful with train tracker, uh, bus tracker, our alerts on our website, and email alerts. Um, I think internally for the control center, um, we're looking at ways in which we can um, operate more efficiently and integrate technology to, uh, to make the command center a more productive environment. Who can quarrel with Chicago status as a world-class city? The list that all Chicago has to offer seems almost endless. And not to be overlooked, a mass transit system ranked among the five best in the world. The Chicago Transit Authority shares a spotlight with Hong Kong, New York, England, and Paris. While coming in right behind Paris, it's pretty impressive to be sure. For the average commuter, it's easy to take it off for granted, as long as things continue to run smoothly. Hopefully this look behind the scenes will help the average commuter better appreciate the intricacies of coordinating such a labyrinth of trains and unanticipated problems.